Cord Jefferson is a myth buster. He used the special effect of truth to dislodge the myths that successful black movies can only be about black pain and black pathology. Shout out to black genius Percival Everett. That black is too dark to see through. That a woman of a certain age and hue, like me, can't be a romantic lead, can't meet cute. Cord is a myth buster who has become something of a myth or legend himself. It's like in storytelling, where the hero, in order to slay the monster, must go into the inmost cave. The journey changes him. Cord, American fiction is a masterpiece. It changed us. It changed you from an outsider to an Oscar-winning insider. And American fiction resonates and has the power to change because it tells the truth about the land of make-believe. Sometimes I hear you lament that you arrived at the big top later in life, but I believe had you arrived any earlier, you might have been ruined by the experience. Because brother, you learned uncomfortable lessons by taking a different path. And now you can be sure you're made for this moment. It's in your DNA. It's an unusual burden, and it isn't fair. It's never easy to be the one. But you knew the mission before you took it, and you understand the stakes. You're not alone. I hope you see, here in this room, a group of tribes people who are dedicated to similar missions. Cord, I believe, I truly hope, your emergence marks the end of an era and hells the beginning of another and at the risk of sounding even more dramatic than I do now, let me say this. Cord Jefferson, myth buster, hero of a new era, please come and receive your Paul Selvin WGA Award. Well, I, I don't know if I'll be able to live up to that. I'm gonna do my best as I read off my phone like an idiot. Um, so, Thank you first to the Writers Guild. I said it earlier, like I love this union. I, I am so honored at what you, the work that you guys do for us. Um, it has really sort of enriched my life and, and joining the union was, was a, a huge moment for me, one of the biggest moments of my career. So thank you uh, to the Guild. Um, thank you also to Percival Everett, uh, whose support and friendship during and after the making of American fiction has enriched my life in ways large and small. Thank you to my assistant and friend, Hannah Offer, who was the the first person to begin the creative work with me on this film. Um, I love your brain, Hannah. Uh, thank you to Jermaine Johnson, my manager, uh, my friend and my co-producer, for seeing a screenwriter in me before anyone else had seen a screenwriter in me, even myself. Thank you to Ben LeClaire and Nikos Karamigios for choosing to make this movie with me despite the fact that the script made them feel afraid. We generally call people who throw themselves into their fears heroic, and you boys are certainly heroes of mine. Um, Thank you to Louisa for loving me and helping me learn to love myself. Thanks to Laura Gordon, Pete Stein, and Ida Zanitti, and everyone at CAA. Thank you to everyone at T Street and MRC, including Ryan Johnson, Ron Bergman, Johnny Golfman, Bri Adler. Thank you to everyone at MGM, Amazon, and Orion uh, for all your support. Thank you to my tremendous cast, including Eric Alexander. Erica, I have been a fan of your work. Yeah. I've been a fan of your work since I was 10 years old. Oh, wow. 32 years later, I consider myself so lucky to have met you, the human being behind there. I mean, you were six years old. You were only six. I was 10, so it was fine. Um, I consider myself lucky to have met the human being behind the work. Your mixture of kindness, intelligence, and generosity is something I aspire to emulate. Um, the Paul Selvin Award is about civil liberties and the constitutionally protected freedoms we require as writers. I'm so honored to receive it. I believe uh, one of the themes of, one of American fiction's main themes is what happens when people don't feel free to be themselves, the strange things we do to destroy and diminish ourselves in those circumstances. Knocking down those walls, both real and metaphorical, to find oneself is perhaps the most important thing a person can endeavor to do. And time and again in my life, I have turned to artists, filmmakers, writers, musicians, and the like to help me feel less alone as I try to overcome the obstacles in my life. I am grateful if anyone thinks the film that I made with my friends can help them surmount their own walls. Bringing people together under a shared umbrella of humanity is really the only thing I care about doing with my work anymore. 
I was raised in a strange home. Uh, my father is a black Republican and my mother was a white liberal. I have grown to appreciate that upbringing and not just because it set the stage for my parents to divorce at a crucial time in my childhood, <laughs> leaving me with a vacancy in my soul that would lead me to become a writer. <laughs> you guys get it. You guys have the soul vacancies. Um, I also appreciate my childhood because it allowed me to see on a daily basis people with different opinions speaking civilly to one another. I learned to see people as individuals and not members of a tribe. I learned that everyone is complex and unique and you can no more capture the black experience with one black person in a room than you can understand the ocean by looking at a wave. All of that, all of that is easy to forget as more and more of us retreat into our own ideological bubbles. These days, I think the only way to keep our country and world from completely unraveling is by finding our way toward one another, despite our many differences. And I think it's artists, not politicians or tech billionaires, who are the most prepared to help people do that. I, I feel a great respect for everyone in this room tonight. I'm honored to be among you, and uh, I thank you all for what you do to help knock down the walls. Thank you.